I'm just going to go over the five steps of advocacy and kind of explain how all of that would work. So the first step is identify and clarify. So what is the issue and what is the solution? So with this, we really want to encourage self-awareness. You should always be checking in with yourself, the triangle of awareness I mentioned, seeing how you're doing and looking for ways to improve. Once a barrier is encountered, once it's been identified, think where you want to go. What is your ideal solution? If you can, this is a possible. The next one is reach out to a trusted ally. Reach out to a friend, um, a coworker, uh, a family member, someone that will help you create an action plan, engage in the problem solving, really think about what you want to happen. The third one is have courage. So one step at a time, remember that you are worth it and practice what you're going to say. Be prepared that you may not get what you want, but practice anyways. The fourth is speak up. So speak to someone who can solve the issue. Choose the right time and the right place and be clear and kind in your request. So this is where we want to support the critical thinking because it is going to be a negotiation process. There is going to be a dialogue. And we also want to, we want to actively create allies in this exchange by encouraging people with their acceptance and support. You don't want to create another obstacle in your life. And stay positive while you do it. It gives you really important networking opportunities for future employment or for future awards and other life opportunities. So keep those in mind. And then the last step is reflect. Do a self-check. So going right back to the first step, seeing how you're doing, how are you feeling, what are your emotions, thoughts, and bodily sensations, and what did you learn? Any follow-up steps that you could take, and what could you do next time the situation occurs? Thinking ahead. So those are the five steps. <laughs>